everybody. This is Milky. Welcome to my Thai Wu live stream. I played a lot of Thai Wu on my YouTube channel, so I'm pretty excited to start start the live stream today. Thank you so much for joining, and let's get started. So today our main goal is to get better relationship or uh, with all the people in Flower Valley. So maybe I could uh, ask my son to become a disciple of their of Flower Valley. Really, really important. Also, we have some new updates that I want to show you. The first thing is uh, we actually now it will show all our villagers, the people we know. Wow, we've lived through a crazy love Taiwu life. Look at all the people we know. This is crazy amount. And we have some people that's right here. Also, a lot of it. I I really like this new. New updates with all the people we know, especially for Taiwu villagers, because it really helps to me, help me to see what are the villagers and what are they doing. <gasps> also, I found out this villager that didn't wear any clothes. Oh no! When I get back to the Taiwu village, I will sort him straight and this girl straight. They need some clothes. Um. Meanwhile, let's see, who are the people that we know that's Fable? Only Fable. Wow, we actually know a lot of a great people that has great reputation. Love that. And we can search specific people if we care about them. And then I think this tab is also a new update. Oh, it helps us manage the people on um, that's gathering stuff. Let me see who's not gathering much, and uh, maybe we can try to remove them. For example, him is not gathering much food. <gasps> And we can just remove it and uh, maybe change it or just take him back. Are you sure you want to recall the labor at that place? <gasps> this is so helpful for managing resources. I love it. Um, and this guy, instead of mining the ore, we can change it him to gather food so we can get more food. Wow. I love how Taiwu just keeps improving and improving. And uh, I I really look forward to become for it to become a better and better game. So well, so far, I actually really like the villager ma village management part of Tai Wu, and the thing we want to do today is probably continue improving our village. I would like to increase our asset ancestral wall because I realized that we we haven't upgraded for a while now, but we're out of prestige. So I I guess in middle of the game lately, I've been find out that. It's actually very hard for me to get prestige. I almost have never have enough of it. So I started to selling the books that I read to other people to get prestige. It's probably not the best option, but we could try. Oh, also one thing I learned is when they're in super great relationship with you, they would you can actually buy the book from them and then sell it to them, and they because they would accept lower. In a lower value than you, and you you can earn money by just doing that. That sounds pretty pretty crazy. But right now I can't buy any of the good books he have, so let's get past that. Let's chat a little bit to get better relationship with this heavenly divine. Wow, I'm surprised that the, even though he had he's in such a great position, his reputation is still unknown. Unfortunately. Oh well. We need to get better relationship with people so our reputation goes up. So, also I wonder where's the head of the Flower Valley? She disappeared. I think one way to find out where she is is just our recent best friend. Um. Oh, I don't see her. Where are you, head of the Flower Valley? Or oh, this girl, case holder. She's at the Flower Valley Lake. Lake. Oh. I wonder where is it? I don't see her too. We need to find her so she will stay in the same block as my child. So they will keep getting better relationship. Also teach him kung fu. Well, so far I think in order to get better relationship with people, I need more. I definitely need more food so I can cook dishes and make sure that. It's easier to get better relationship with them. So one thing I would like to do is let's go back to the Taiwu village. Where is Taiwu village? Or 
or let's go back to the sword manor. So I've been thinking that we haven't go back to sword manor for a while now. It's probably time for me to go back and uh, and uh, learn the next level kung fu. Also, to make a better sword. I think I never tried the, the special interaction for the sword manor, which is giving me a. Uh, I think based on the research, it was giving me a tour to make a great sword. Maybe it's about time for us to make us make ourselves a great sword. Oh, and here's a merchant. I want to get better relationship with merchant and buy great dishes from them. But so far, I've been just getting getting medicines is good too. Oh wow, some of the merchant even sell epic epic medicine. I would love that. Not enough money to pay. <gasps> Where's all our money go? Well, maybe I can sell some sell some stuff for him to him. For example, the sing horses, I don't use it much too. And the sword and the claws. Well, okay. Maybe that will give us enough money for me to buy the, buy the medicine. I think if we buy the medicine from the merchant event, we actually get it cheaper. Oh, look at this. There's one girl here that's... Uh, I've been thinking about robbing people and... Uh, well, there's nobody around, so if, supposedly, if we rob her, we wouldn't get any reputation done. But I wonder sometimes, even though I robbed them, when nobody is looking, my reputation still went down. Is it because I didn't kill them at that? Wow, she has a legendary reach close. I love that. Uh, I'm not sure whether we would be able to fight a purple status yet. Maybe, maybe we will see. Let's see. Let me first do something else and uh, start robbing her by the start of next month. So... If we end up doing, wasn't able to kill her or get killed by her, we can still start fresh. Oh, we have an unfamiliar merchant there. I wonder why. Was it because of rep our reputation is too horrible? Hmm. Okay. I I have doubts that I could kill a a purple status girl. Let's see. I really really want to try though. Maybe I should uh, change my team to be a little bit bigger. So they would help me a little bit too. Yeah. That could work. Then... Your reputation will... Oh, hi Night 000! Your reputation will always go down if you do bad things. Robbing without anybody seeing just stop their family friends from hating you. Oh, I see. Thank you. Huh. Well, now I really need my reputation to be good because I want to join some, the Flower Valley set. So maybe I shouldn't rob her. Well, then let's go continue our way to the Sword Manor then. Wow, this map is so huge and the Sword Manor is so far away. That's okay. And uh, we can still join a Merchant Festival on our way there. Because I feel like joining the Merchant Festival, it seems like so far they've been selling the stuff cheaper while I was in the Merchant Festival. And we're so close to it anyways. Not enough time for action. Okay, let's go to the next month. Well, so far I feel like the game has really added a lot of features that I really love. For example, the managing resource section. I wonder what's the next feature that will add. If um if there's one feature that you could add to Taiwo, what it, what would it be? To me personally, I would like to have more events when we are going through the map. So far, um we could have met some beggars, but that's about it. I was hoping that we could have more adventures while we were playing it. Okay, so let's join the merchant festival. Hopefully, I would like to... Well... Oh, I have zero money though. Gosh. Um, maybe this is not the best time for me to join it. One thing I could do is I, I store the tons of stuff in my... In my son's bag. So maybe I could take it out and sell it while we're at it. So I can gain some money. Oh, now I feel kind of bad joining the merchant festival where I have no money at all. Um, 
I'll I'll sell some of the, his shoes and the uh, the accessories I gave him then. Because we really need money. I saw Taiwu Village usually makes me a lot of money. I wonder what happened. Let's. Oh, and I can't join the building. Okay. Um, is there any way to get out of the merchant if I could? Finished adventure. Major Domo mode broke with the new updates. It's not automatically collecting money for you. <gasps> All right, you're right. Thank you. Yes, I did uninstall the Major Domo now because it, right before the, my stream, I tried to use it and uh, it was broken. So I uninstalled it. I was just so used to for it to automatically collect the money for me. That's actually one of the feature I really want. I really want Taiwu to add because because I feel like that's something it would be really nice for them to just do it for me. Let's see, based on the event. Oh, uh, I'm not sure what went. What building had the new money? Oh, here we go. The poison market at Taiwu has new results. Poison market. Wow. But even that, we still earned so little, unfortunately. And I have some. For example, water well, I need somebody to manage it, but most of my people are not talented enough to do it. I think she won't be feel confident to do this job, unfortunately. Well, I guess I need to find more, more people with better cooking skill. And then so far, maybe I could focus on building our essential hall because because um, I, I never upgraded before, and I think it brings us prestige. Greater, greater essential hall gains more prestige, and every spring begins. Good, great. I'm glad that we start doing that. And I have some extra man resources. Gosh, we have so many exceptions. I think the only mode I'm installing right now is the English mode, and it still give us an exception oh gosh Taiwu's updates broke this new update seems broke two of my mode too another mode that it broke was the character floating mode unfortunately well let's continue our way to the sword manor then oh well i also really like this feature of uh, they can automatically go go to a place for us I heard that at the start, it seems like they didn't have this feature and uh, somebody has to make a mode for it. Hello! This is the master of the sword manor. Well, he's... I'm, I'm surprised that right now some of the leader of the sword manor doesn't even have a great reputation. It's so hard to find a great reputation character in game anymore. Let's interact with him. And, uh, oh, he can actually fix the tours for us. And uh, we can also get tours of Asian Smith Master. But we need to reach Cordinal and uh, the local deeds needs to be more than 50%. Okay, let's take a look. Well, we're close in terms of local deeds, but I, I really need to get a better relationship with him, I guess. Let's, let's see if I have a good enough present for him. Well, we're out of time. Before we go, I would like to put down... What's this? Mark the place. Uh, if we mark this place, we can... We can use the resource management page to send or take people back from this place. Oh, that's quite nice. I actually like it. Mm, but I don't think I should collect resources from this block because there's a lot of people here and I think if I try to collect it, it will take three resources. Um, well, if there are resources wasted anyways, maybe I should just put it down. That would work. And let's go to the next month. The blacksmith has new results. Oh, I wonder when will they fix Major Dormo. I really, really, really miss that mode. That's one of my favorite modes. It's so so helpful i just can't live without it now okay so when milky milky finished practicing okay i would love to teach him 
but I want to make sure his reputation is good so we can incre increase our reputation a little bit. Then what about him? Unknown. That's also alright. Just want to make sure that I don't accidentally give two people who doesn't have a good reputation. Um, be friend with the good. I'm guessing the one, the reputation up is be friend with the good? No. It has to be charitable soul plus mental of the talent. Some of the reputation up, I wasn't sure how did I get it. For example, mentor of the talents. Oh, I'm guessing that's when I teach the child who has a good reputation. Mm. Oh, just want to make sure that I keep getting my reputation up. So at least I want to get it back to unknown so we can join all the set we want. Let's see. Well, he's ordinal with us now. So... He can actually fix stuff for us. Mm, I wonder is there any benefit of asking him to fix the stuff for us instead of we just fix it ourselves. Well, let me go out and get our local deeds up so I could get, get the tour from him. The tours of ancient Smi master. Okay. I'm guessing in order to get local deeds, I need to find out all the bad people around here and fight them. I wish we can just see Corpse Smelter confront the enemy. I think this is the first time I meet a Corpse Smelter. What do they do? Usually I just meet beggars and uh, and bad guys. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, the Corpse Smelter has 8 pure essence. I, I don't know whether I would be able to beat him. That's scary. Um, and uh, he's he's mostly wearing using sword, and he has a master overcoat. Epic! Gosh, I don't think I have ever met somebody so strong just in the wild. Hopefully, we we would be able to beat him. Needle lift up. Oh, well, let's see his sword. Three to five point. Oh, we're also 3 to 5. Oh, right. I can also see it here. Well, but so far he hasn't done any damage to us. I'm surprised. I wonder why. Um, this is his weak point on his waist. Oh, maybe we can try to attack him. And let's use our Gongbu Unique Sword. I'm surprised. Even though he has 8 pure essence, so far he hasn't done any harm to us at all. He didn't even break our shield. And we were doing significantly amount of damage. I thought that having more pure essence would really help with uh, with fighting normal people. So even though his pure essence is so much more than us, mm, we seem to be able to do pretty good. I'm happy. Oh wow! And since I learned more medical skill, I can actually heal twice during the during the fight now. That's a pretty great benefit. I doubt I will use him much for fighting him though. Seems like we will be able to win. I'm so happy about that. Oh, nice. Oh, and he dropped some good medicine too. Just four local deeds and a little bit prestige. Pretty good. I'm happy for that. And the demon doctor. Um, I wonder if this is new... A content of new updates. I almost never. I also never met a demon doctor before. Either I wasn't strong enough to meet them, or, um, or I'm just surprised that I never met them before. Oh, pure essence help with damage and the damage reduction, but your three counters are too high for him to hit. Oh, I see. Thank you, nine zero zero zero. That's why. Even though, so even though she has nine pure essence we can still beat them pretty easy then i'm happy for that and we get some good good stuff from her some spicy rabbit oh gosh i always get spicy rabbit no matter they were they're beggars or whoever they are every single one of them drops spicy rabbit but i think that's enough local deeds for the us oh i love that 
But here's another person. Maybe I can go um, beat the demon slave while we are at it. Wow. Um, I wonder is it because we broke a sword, um, uh, sword tomb or something? It seems like all the enemies that I meet lately have much, much, much higher pure essence than I used to meet. All the beggars I meet, I feel like they, they mostly have zero pure essence. Could be, could be the area is getting dangerous. Hmm. But I'm happy that they're getting more dangerous, so they can drop better stuff. Look at that. I hope she can drop this. Mm, my my crews are helping decently. I'm pretty happy about them. Um, I think one more one more attack, and we should be able to get her. Oh, she dropped a good a good shoe. Nice. Secret transcription of five immortals. Okay. So let's see if I can get more than 50 local deeds. Nah, I think it's capped for now, unfortunately. So I should just go back without trying to get more local deeds. Let's go back. And uh, let's meet the sword manor smith and try to get the tour of the Asian smith master. So cool. Our Asian founder left a lot of tools for smithing and crafting. With your deeds, you are allowed to borrow them. Now, some deeds get random toolkits of smithing, wood crafting, weaving, or jade crafting. Um, I'm really, really hope that is smithing. Oh, we can actually pick. Nice. The relic of our Asian founder is so valuable. Please cherish them. So, which two do you want? Wow, this is the first time I got a legendary tour. That, that's so amazing. I wonder how should I use it? The mobs are related to local threat level. It increases each time you clear local adventure or if there are any pers there are possessed people in the local map. I see, thank you. Let's see the local threat in this place. Wow, it's actually a lot. Five local threat and that's why there's so many bad mobs around here. But I haven't met so many too much possessed people in this map yet. I wonder if there's a quick way to find all the possessed people. I actually really want to go and attack them. I thought this is supposed to show all the people that's in this location. Oh, that's because I, I select the fable. If I filter it by monstrous to fable, then we can see all of them. And then if I just search for monstrous, this is probably Let's see. Oh, they're just having bad reputation. <laughs> they're actually not possessed. Yeah, I, I wish there's a way to find out all the people that's possessed within this region. That would be really helpful. Also, I want to take a look at my villagers. Now for my villagers, uh, monstrous stuff. So. Oh, and uh, turns out we have a new baby. That's nice. Oh, that's the girl I managed to get married. To arrange marriage. I think I got another girl to our village. When I get back to Taiwu village, I need to make sure. I need to remember to arrange marriage for her. Oh, she only have nine years left too. Oh gosh. When I'm back, I will make sure to find her a happy marriage. So one thing I want to do is using the new tour I got and build a great, great sword for myself. Um, I never tried it before, and uh, I don't know whether I will be wasting this great tour, but let's give it a try. So the first thing I will need to do is probably get a good material out for our sword. Um, we have iron, and uh, we have a superb one for copper. Raw material for com production. So maybe we can get this one, and the... Uh, also, armored. Hmm, that might be the best material I have for making a sword for now. Yeah, that's the only, only rare material I have. Okay, yes, yes, that's it. I will try to make a sword. 
and uh, let's see what happens. So I want to make. Uh, I wonder why sometimes when I, this is a metallic sword king, when reach two hundred and ten attainment, we may we may produce a rare sword called Fenjin. Um, well we reached that much, but I think there's a uh, other. Oh, wrong way. There's other sword that we can produce too if we add a lot of it to it. No? That's the only sword we can produce? Gosh. I thought there's a difference. Okay, this one. Oh, yeah. So, sword hur hurricane. Construct from mechanical uh, materials with a power focus. Can either be three sword or broad sword. The body of the sword and are heavy. Um, I actually don't want a really heavy one. I actually don't know what's the... Like, which one would suit us greatly? Mm, but the materials can be blunt sword or soft sword. Either extremely hard or extremely soft. Mm, so we have a Moonlight Fenjin. I would want to try maybe the Moonlight one. Or... I like the name of it. That's probably not the best choice of picking a sword, but I decided to try to make a moonlight. Let's start it. Metallic sword constructed from metallic materials with an extreme focus. In production. Oh, what's happening? Produce. Um, oh wow, it actually takes a month in order to produce it. Um, I don't think that happens when I was trying to build other sword. I actually also have another sword that's superb anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this let's play or joining it in live. I had a lot of fun today. Please consider joining me live last time and hit that like button. I will see you guys next time.